good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are. Uh, I think, well, no, it's, it's practically the first time I'm talking. It's 724 in the morning, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Holy guacatoli. This is, oh God, this is, this has been, um, been a bit tired this morning. You know, I feel like it's probably due to the fact that I went on a run yesterday and I, I think I almost gave myself heat stroke. I swear to God, I, I, <laughs> I think I kind of regret what I did. I don't know, man. It was, uh, let's see. It, it basically started as one of the record highs of the day. And in my head, I was like, uh, you know, all right, record high of the day, you know, 90, cl close to 90 degrees. I don't think I quite realized 90, how hot 90 degrees was. It's been a hot sec. We've been in winter. And so now merging into spring, it's, you know, we got this, these new warm temps coming in. I, I'm a cold-blooded creature. I like my I like my winters. I like to stay cold. I like layers. And I like freezing myself off rather than sweating myself off. Just my personal preference. However, as I was running, I decided to do a four-mile run. And that was a decision for sure. Um, oh, God. No, because I remember I got literally... So the four-mile run I do, it's in the form of a loop. And that loop is kind of hilly. Oh, God. It, it can really, like... Uh, at least it's hilly for me. I remember I got to the two-mile point, which is approximately the farthest point from my house. And I remember I was just not so much sucking wind. Like, my legs were definitely feeling heavy. But also, I was just like, oh. You know, I was sweating and I was feeling overheated and I, to put in perspective, I took off my shirt when I was running during those four miles, uh, put it in perspective. I never do that. I just, I always have my shirt on I, and I had to wear a tank top. I was, I was, or sleeveless. I was really sucking. And I remember it got to a point where I'm at probably, the, I'm, on, I'm now past the two miles, past one of the biggest hills I had to climb and I'm on my way home and I'm like, uh, I feel dizzy. <laughs> Mom, if you're listening to this, uh, I'm lying. This totally never happened. I'm just fooling everyone. Uh, and if you're not my mother listening to this, uh, she's a worry wart. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Ma. <laughs> my bad. Um, but yeah, no, I was fully, <laughs> was completely dizzy. I was like, oh my God. Like I had to stop running at some points because I was just too hot. Like, I could have kept running from a cardiovascular or a muscular standpoint, but boy, oh boy, was ya boy just not vibing enough to really muscle through it. And so I, I, I remember I was going up the hill and I was just like, I'm sucking wind. I am not enjoying this. I was kind of whining and complaining to myself of like, I just want to be home. I just want to have my, my diet Coke, which by the way, didn't have a diet Coke. They, they were out of Diet Cokes at the market. I had to settle with a stinking little Coca-Cola Zero, which it's not like it's bad, but it's no Diet Coke. I don't know why. It, it just tastes completely different. It's got like Coca-Cola Zero has a more cinnamon -y flavor and Diet Coke just has a, I don't know. I, I don't have a better word other than better. It's like, I, I don't know what the flavor of Diet Coke is other than good. I get a sneeze. Uh, uh, Mr. Beast says not to sneeze. Mr. Beast says not to sneeze. Mr. Beast says not to... Sneeze. Oh, all right. Wow, that worked. I was about to lose my AVD there. That could have been wild. Um, yeah, because I remember Mr. Beast was talking about every time he sneezes in his videos, he gets a retention drop. Like, people just don't like bodily functions, uh, which is kind of news to me. But, well, as I immediately just sniffle, everyone clicks off. Oh, the irony. Uh, where was I talking about? Ah, the run. So, yeah, I was getting heat stroke. And as I was... Uh, getting this alleged heat stroke i'm thinking okay well if i'm close to passing out or i don't think i'm gonna make it i'm reciting my credit card information in my head of like okay these are the 16 digits this is my cvt code this is my expiration date i'm kind of going through it I'm like uh 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 it just on the off chance i were to have a problem so i could run into some sort of store and be like hi gatorade now thank you ac i don't care i just like the shell of the human or squid that i am um and then, yeah, because it was like, I was, it was so bad, dude. I was not prepared. I didn't bring a water with me because I don't like, I like running with as minimal items as possible. 
Literally all I brought was my phone and my keys. That's it. Uh, that's, that's the only things I brought because I didn't want to bring anything else. Uh, not even a wallet, not even a card. So I would have had to, and I don't have Apple Pay or anything or with those digital paying things. So I, I need my physical card to pay. Oh God, I just, I'm, maybe I'm an old soul, but that was gonna, uh, that would have been a humbling experience to say the least, you know? Ah, uh, my house looks so beautiful. It's coming along. It's coming along. I think I want to build a bridge at some point. That could be cool. I kind of like bridges. I mean, I don't know. They look cool. Uh, what else to talk about? I I feel this this ridiculous need to optimize my videos or optimize my talking right now because I'm like, well, I'm recording. And when I'm recording, I need to be optimal. And I can't be beaten around the point. But it's ironic because that's exactly the point of this entire video series these next 30 days and hopefully beyond that is to be you know not to the point to allow myself to have this human moment of just rambling saying what's on my mind i mean i've got my problems i've actually got my stresses i'll pick up the car tomorrow which i'm super stoked about but in addition to that i i just i had to put my down payment down yesterday uh last night uh I bought the, you know, hold up, hold up. Before we get into that, I bought the mobile adapter on, for like the new, because I said I got a Tesla in the last episode or the episode before that. I, I'm honestly not entirely certain which one it was, but I bought the mobile adapter and I, I was trying to be like, okay, so I should have gotten a confirmation email. I checked the email. It was legit. It was the right email. That's cool. We're, we're busting there. And then I've never, I, I never got an email. I'm like, what, what, what the hairy heck? Uh, like, where's my email? I, I want a delivery date to know, like, when it's going to be expected. Uh, and, uh, okay, hello? Never got it. I was just like, alright, that's cool. So I, I've emailed some Tesla account or customer service email. I, I don't even know if it's the right one. But I couldn't be bought. I'm like, I just got to figure something out. Maybe they'll direct me. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Also, did I get... I don't think I got enough. <gasps> Wait a minute. Actually, I think I did get enough. Oh my god, I got enough. That is actually... That is such a satisfying feeling when you get just enough of the blocks that you need. Oh, and a F5 little, uh... Setup. Oh my god, I'm... I'm so sniffly from my allergies. This is ridiculous. So... Words. Chief, it's time to talk and say stuff. But maybe it's not... Maybe you don't always have to say stuff. I don't know. I always... Yeah, the... Oh, so I put my down payment down. Yeah. So just talking about some of my anxieties and, and worries, my real life worries. Another set of just perfect blocks. That is, that is cool. Because I kind of want to do something here, but I don't know what I want to do. I want to do something here. I'll figure it out. I also, I realize I'm going to need some torches. I got to light up my home. Uh... Uh, torches, bang. I'm gonna put this last piece of coal in there. Yeah, I had to put a down payment down. I'm just... Again, I can afford the car. That's not the problem. It's well within my budget. The problem that I'm psyching myself out with is that it's just... I have these fears that, well, what if this happens? Or what if something else happens? And I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be needing to worry about that, because I'm always thinking all my life, what if this happens, what if that happens, and 99% of the time, none of those things come true, and it turns out to be, in some sense, countless worrying or pointless worrying. I don't know. Maybe it's the same thing that goes with what I was talking about with the whole heat stroke thing. Uh, I was worried I was going to get a heat stroke. I didn't get a heat stroke. Maybe that's a bad example. Maybe I should have been worried that I was going to get a heat stroke. I don't know. But, oh, no, no. Ah, dang it. Well, I... Sometimes we make mistakes, boys. Sometimes we make mistakes. Ugh. But, you know, it just... It, it, I I get worried. Just like anyone else. Worries are a part of the life, and that's just... That is what it is, and I guess this is my way of coping with it. Maybe recording, trying to be as real and authentic with you guys as possible. Maybe this is entertaining to watch. Maybe it's not. I've seen a lot of positive responses 
that you guys do like this stuff, uh, which I'm very thrilled for, but I think also kind of surprised. Also, what do I want to do here? I want to do like some form of something. I think I want to do like, where's this? Yeah, I want more slabs. So I want to do something here. I just don't know what. Uh, bam, 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 bam. And then, oops, we got this. Uh, actually, yeah, because I kind of want to do this, honestly. So then I can make something happen. I'm thinking like a little storage venue here. Kind of carry up half of that. That, that could look kind of cool. I have a vision. There's a vision. I it, it will come together. But, I don't know. I think all in all, I worry just as much as the next person. Maybe more, maybe less. I think the important thing to note is just it's okay to worry, but not allow it to sort of control your life. And I, I, I just like anyone else, am trying, are trying my best, you know, trying my best to not worry, trying my best to lead a healthy and happy life. But we're going to encounter worries, and that's fine. You know, actually embracing the worries and accepting them for what they are, cool. That that seems like a fair idea. Don't try and avoid your worries but don't let them control you and again this is all just rambling at the end of the day and i, I can't really express oh that is that is actually kind of heat i actually really like that um kind of want some hay <gasps> wait i have hay oh this is eh. yeah that'll work can i kind of like orient that differently like, like this maybe aha there we go where, where did the uh is it on the other side? Did I pick it up? I must have picked it up. Three, four, five, six. I definitely didn't pick it up, but I don't know where it could have went. Found where it went. Um. Yeah, I have a worry brain. I have a scatter brain, and I think I just have to accept that maybe that is part of the part of the package deal when you when you are chief, and, and sort of be okay with that. I think another thing is being forgiving and kind to yourself. That's something I definitely struggled with. For a lot of years, um, I was very hard on myself. I I do have to say, over some past experiences, I, I've definitely learned to be more forgiving and kind to myself and be like, yeah, you know what? It's okay. It's going to be a-okay. Definitely not a natural thing for me, but it is something I'm actively working on. And I think I'm getting better at it. So, yeah. Always trying to get better. Always trying to improve. Do do I need a... a, a it's like, should I have a, a ladder here? No, I, I think I would actually just annoy me here. Or not a ladder, but a fence. I, that would be actually more annoying than anything else. If I had cobwebs, that would be sick. I'd put a couple cobwebs up here. Oh, it'd be so cool. Um, hmm. Yeah. But, I don't know, maybe this house will get improved down the line. I think a really, I don't know. This is just a ramble moment, you know? It's not like there's really a point. That's the other thing. I'm trying to keep reminding myself that, hey, man, it's okay to not have a point to what you're talking right now. Just allow yourself to be comfortable just talking. Just talking. Talk about whatever. What's on your mind there, champ? Just, just say it. Does it make sense? No? That's okay. That's okay. Uh, I, but, you know, I'm, I'm working on getting to that point kind of it, it feels unnatural but you know do be what it is tis but the life of a minecraft youtuber stick true to your guns be humble be humble that is something i really like doing is being humble i'm just i don't know i don't i don't want to be someone that's I want to be someone who's always open-minded, empathetic, and always sort of never letting himself get too ahead and thinking, I never want to think I'm better than anyone else. Because in full honesty, I, I really don't believe that. I believe I'm different than everyone else, and I just have some things that maybe I'm better at, but overall, I, other people are way better at me than other things, and I might be worse, and everyone's got their strengths and weaknesses. And I, I don't want to lose sight of that. And 
that's also like when people say like kind of idolize me as a creator like oh my god chief like holy cow you're so incredible you're my hero you're the perfect person i always kind of remind him like i'm i'm really not i'm just someone that's also just trying to make it through life the same way you guys are and i don't want to lose sight of that so i i hope this channel also is a a, a gentle reminder in that direction at least for me um just yeah I'm, I'm a guy just like the rest of you just trying to do it do this whole life but i guess that's all for me in this episode i'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow uh i i love you guys and uh yeah stay stay squiddly